CDL exam prep 2022 through 2023, page 92. Air brakes test continued. Number 18. Many big buses give off a warning when air pressure is at blank. A. 40 to 45 PSI. B. 60 to 65 PSI. C. 70 to 75 PSI. Or D. 80 to 85 PSI. The answer is D, 80 to 85 PSI. Most big buses give off a warning when air pressure is at 80 to 85 PSI. A low air pressure signal tells you when your pressure supply is almost below 60 PSI or when one half of your air compressor governor is running down on pressure you will see a red light and sometimes hear a buzzer this warning means you have to attend to the situation Number 19, spring breaks do which of the following? A, come on when there is a leak in any part of the air brake system. B, supply mechanical force to aid heavy vehicles in parking and emergency braking. C. Come on when there is a reduction of air pressure to 20 to 45 PSI. Or D. All of the following. All of the above. The answer is D. All of the above. Spring brakes supply mechanical force to help vehicles park and stop in an emergency. They come on when there is a leak in any part of the air brake system or when there is a reduction of air pressure to 20 to 45 PSI. They are used for preventative purposes. Number 21. You should not drive an air brake vehicle until the compressor has built up pressure to at least blank for a truck. A. 50 PSI. B. 100 PSI, C, 150 PSI, or D, 75 PSI. The answer is B, 100 PSI. Dual air brake systems are often used for safety purposes. Although the air brake system is double, it uses just one set of controls. Each 
comes with separate air brake parts, such as hoses, brake lines, air tanks, etc. One takes over the front axle while the other operates the back axle and both provide air to the vehicle. The minimum pressure should be 100 PSI for a truck. Also, going back to number 20, in regards to when you are driving, ABS does which of the following? Hmm. I don't think I did that one, did I? I might have skipped number 20. Number 20, when you are driving, ABS does which of the following? A, shortens your stopping distance. B, increases your stopping distance. C, helps you control your vehicle when braking hard. Or D, all of the above. The answer was... C, helps you control your vehicle when braking hard. An ABS helps prevent your vehicle from locking up when you brake hard. It is computerized and works with your normal brakes without reducing or increasing their effectiveness. Page 93, number 22, if you are driving a truck, tractor, or bus with ABS, you should do which of the following? A, watch your mirrors. B, not change how you brake. C, learn how to drive faster. Or D, Drive slowly at all times. <sighs> the answer is B, not change how you brake. Do not change how you brake when driving a truck, tractor, or bus with ABS. The only exception to this rule is when you are handling a straight truck or combination vehicle with ABS on both axles. If in an emergency stop is required, you can use the brakes without restraint. Number 23. Which of the following are two major techniques used for emergency stops? A, uncontrolled and controlled braking. B, uncontrolled and stab braking. C, controlled and stab braking. Or D, all of the above. The answer is C, controlled and stab braking. You can apply either controlled or stab braking techniques in an emergency stop. If a driver ahead is pulling over, you can simply step on the brakes if there is enough distance between your vehicle and theirs. Stop in a straight line using the controlled or stab braking technique. And lastly, number 24, which of the following is the main instrument of the air brake mechanism? A, water vapor, B, weather conditions, C, Atmospheric air or D, speed and distance. 
The answer is C. Atmospheric air. Air brakes are best for heavy vehicles because they use atmospheric air to supply pressure. Air brakes are classified as high powered brake systems. They are often found in trucks. Hold on. They are often found in trucks, heavy vehicles, and commercial buses. Using their legs, drivers apply great effort in operating this system. An air brake system will not work if accumulated pressure is not supplied or applied to the brake component.